Hey everyone, Austin here with The Real Seal, back again for another blog video to talk to you about how to fix foundation cracks. Now when we're talking about the repair of foundation cracks, we're talking about two different types of cracks. One being structural and the other being non-structural. The non-structural is what you're probably more attuned and uh, used to, so let's go ahead and start with those. These would be those waterproofing cracks that you see in your foundation that either go off of windows, come down the corner, or just run down vertically or slightly diagonally onto the foundation wall itself. This is all for poured concrete foundations. Now, if you have a block or brick foundation, no repair that you do, whether it's interior or outerior, will fully waterproof that crack unless you dig out the entire wall and seal it, at which point we suggest anyways installing a drain tile system. But for now, we're just going to talk about the poured concrete ones. So we use a two-part epoxy in order to fix these cracks. And this is used by and done by an, attaching injection ports up the wall and putting an epoxy bonder all up that crack to create a nice waterproof seal with, through only which you have the access ports. From there, we've got a neat caulk epoxy gun that we inject epoxy into that's going to come in and it's going to fill up that void in the wall and then it's going to come up and it's going to come actually out the next port. And once it starts dripping, we know to move up to the next port and fill it on up until it starts dripping out of the third port. We cap these ports off as we go and continue filling up that crack until we get it all the way to the top. Once we're there, we know we have a solid seal because that epoxy is not going anywhere and it's going to fill up the entire void of that structure. One problem that you do run into with these is if you have a void, we call them little pockets on the other side of the wall, and the epoxy can leak into these pockets and it can cause actually failure of the crack repair. When our technicians are going through using our two-part non-expanding epoxy and they find one of these pockets, they'll switch to an expanding polyurethane, which will go in here and it'll expand and fill the entire void, creating a good backing for us to switch back to the two-part epoxy. That two-part epoxy is really important because it doesn't expand and is a lot stronger than the polyurethane repairs. So we really only want to be putting that polyurethane to fill up the void behind the foundation wall while the epoxy is used inside the concrete. Whenever we get these repairs done, we're able to put a lifetime warranty on them and ensure you that no more water is going to come through those foundation cracks. When we're talking about structural repairs, we're talking that the crack actually has some sort of movement involved in it. So let's say outside there's just a lot of water. You've got a gutter pouring over right there. Your hills, you know, is in, in this case... Uh, you've got grading coming towards it, so whenever it rains, water just runs, pools, and builds up against the wall and gets you a lot of pressure pushing in on that wall. Well, in this case, if it's just pressure and your wall actually hasn't moved yet, we've got a technique called grid stitch. They're carbon fiber staples that we actually grind into the wall, into the wall here, along the path of the foundation crack. We epoxy them into the wall, and it actually holds that together, kind of like stitches on your wound, and creates a much stronger repair. If you've had a crack where you've had companies come out, and they've had to come out two, three times to repair the crack because it keeps opening, and that wall isn't otherwise moving, grid stitch is a fantastic solution to stop that movement of the crack and hold it together. Other popular repairs that we have when we have bigger issues are the carbon fiber repairs where we'll install the carbon fiber up against the joist in the wall and into the footing of the foundation to stop any movement of that wall where you'll oftentimes see big diagonal cracks that can really signify you've got moving. And a lot of times those diagonal cracks actually are gonna run bottom to top towards the center of the wall. So if you see these cracks like that, you can really see that you might have some foundation movement. And then another typical situation we see is the stair-step bricking crack above your foundation wall. 
that usually ties down to a crack in the wall. And so in this case, we'll install steel piers, whether they be push piers or whether they be helical piers with what we call an A and a B plate that are screwed into the ground to give that foundation support and then actually push upwards on the foundation to create that st stability that was missing in the first place or degraded over time. And then once we're done, of course, we can then apply a non-structural fix for waterproofing purposes so that not only is the crack fixed from a structural standpoint, but it's also fixed from a waterproofing standpoint. If you've got any questions at all, be sure to give Real Seal a call. And remember, not everything's better when wet.